Hey everybody, Nina here. There's been a lot of hype, especially on SEO Twitter lately, about this koala writer, and I wanted to give it a shot. So I actually, before um, I recorded this, I did try it just to make sure it's like not absolute crap. So this is one that I asked it to write. My keyword was best dog crates for car travel. Um, it gave a brief intro. Uh, this is an HTML file, so it's a bit weirdly formatted. It pulled a photo, which I did not expect. Um, I don't understand where the photos come from, and I, I searched on their site, but I can't find where they're pulling this from, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, so I would probably not use it until I know for sure that I'm allowed to use it and just go and find them myself. Um, then you can see it goes into the best dog crates for car travel. It formatted this as an H2, this is an H3, and then it actually, like this is a link it pulled and the name it pulled of a crate off of Amazon, which is pretty cool. So it gives me um, like, and this is actually one that I own. Um, so I was really excited to see that it does pull relevant, helpful information. Um, again, the images are a bit messed up because it's the HTML file um, when it was on uh, Koala and when I put it into WordPress, this looked totally normal. So yeah, and then it even included this like nice little buying guide at the end. And this is formatted as a table. HTML doesn't show it, but it is. But like, how cool. And so it didn't do um, that many, but I did some reading in the meantime to figure out how I can fix that. So in Koala Writer, they do offer a free trial. It's what I'm using to do this, um, mostly just because I don't do a lot of my own writing anymore. I have writers, so I'm not gonna pay for an AI writer till I'm sure I'm gonna use it. Um, and I do have my year plan with Jasper, so like try to use that one instead. Um, so here they have the option of GPT 3.5 or 4. 4 is only for paid users, it just came out. Then you have article type, oh I should say for the free trial you get 5,000 words, that other article was about 2,000, um, so this one's probably going to use up my word count. <laughs> So you can have an Amazon product roundup. That's what I did for the other one. And so I think that's how it pulls those links. I don't expect the general blog post one to do that. Then for the target keyword for the other one, I just gave it a keyword. Um, but Fat Stacks did a newsletter about this. And so he said like for the keyword, do like list the 35 best museums in Ottawa. So treat it more like um, a command instead of treating it like a keyword. And I think that makes sense because even here it says like, are Great Danes good pets? Answer no, but show both sides. That's a, the kind of command I would put into chat GPT. So I fully understand where he's coming from that like this is more the command that you're running instead of just a keyword. Then you can choose tone of voice. Um, I always like friendly or casual personally. Um, that's the style of my content. But if I was doing something more formal or professional, then like those exist too. You can select your language output. I'm doing US English. Um, use real time search results. I wanna see how this works to see if it pulls um, relevant information or if it like how it works. I don't know, like I said, this is a trial. So for the title prompt, I genuinely don't care. I'm gonna adjust it anyways, likely. Um, this one it came up with on its own. So it added the in 2023, I'd probably just add the number of dog crates and be good to go. So I kind of trust it to see what's gonna happen. Then for the extra content prompt, this is straight from Fat Stacks newsletter, include a detailed explanation for each item in the list. And I think that's partially because we said list the 35 best museums. Otherwise it might just list the name of them and we want to make sure he's actually writing like a paragraph for each one. Um, and then it, he used this as well in his newsletter. Do not include anything in the article other than the list. I think that's an interesting um, thing to try and get it not to like add a bunch of extra options. I didn't do this on this one and you can see like it did add the buying guide at the end, which I think is valuable, but up to you how you want to use those words for sure. Um, yeah, and then for introduction, I basically used a command that I would use in Jasper or ChatGPT. So write a brief engaging introduction, including, and this is where I wanted to add the experience that I can add to this. So I live in Ottawa, I'm a local. It's definitely something helpful here. You could even add in like, I visited this museum or my favorite museum is X, um, but I'm trying to do this pretty quickly so that we can try and like show how quick it is. So we're gonna create article and then sit and wait. 
And the cool thing is like it will start generating and just run down the page and it moves you down the page as it goes, which like, I don't know, I always I think AI is so cool. I love just watching it work. This is very much a long form kind of article creation. So um, you can see the word count ticking off up here. If you notice it's doing something really wrong, you can stop it, which I think is a great function. Um, something I missed and probably should have done is said to number each of the museums. But like that's a good amount of words for this museum. It's actually pretty long, to be honest. Um, I would, of course, double check all this information, especially the first time I do this to make sure that like the address is right, the things included are right. But at first glance, I haven't been to the National Gallery in a while, but I do think there is some, Pica pardon me, Picasso and Van Gogh. Natural history. Yeah, that's... This is so cool. It's actually getting it right. We find an error here. It's numbering that one number four. I don't really know why because it's number three. Um, and then it goes, so I think it's going to throw the numbering off, but let's see how it goes. And so the cool thing about Koala Writer is it integrates right with ChatGPT. Um, I'm going to be honest, just watching this right now, I'm like, I'm pulling my credit card out because I think the $9 a month plan is really affordable for this and very cool. And I'm really interested in, yeah, like I'm definitely going to double check it first. But from my vague memory of most of these details, it looks correct. And I haven't been to all of them super recently, but the Birds of Canada is definitely an exhibit. Um but they, I think they change out some of the other ones, but that one I've seen for sure. Yeah, Crazy Kitchen is real. Oh my goodness, this is really cool. So I'm also interested to see, because I think this is gonna be the kind of post that will use up over 3000 words looking at how long it is. So I wanna see what it does when we also hit um, the word count limit. I think that's interesting. There's also a chat function as well for Koala chat. Um, that I will try out as well. I'm not, to be honest, I know everyone's like all into the chatbot version and I think in ChatGPT itself it's quite good, but I've yet to find anyone else whose function works better than just the free one. It is pulling all real museums too, which is really cool. Um, and some of these are like not really known. I would say the top three are properly known, but yeah, these ones are not. Oh, the Deef and Bunker. I used to live right near there. Yep, it's in Carp. Oh, that's so cool. It's like, I, this is the thing. I've used, I think this is like my maybe 65th or 66th one. Oh, okay, here we've got something wrong. Um, That's in Halifax. I don't know why it's pulling that. That is interesting. Okay, so we found a limit um, to its genius because that is not in Ottawa and Halifax is nowhere near Ottawa so I don't know why it would put it inside of this post. The things that I can think of are that a lot of the competitors don't have 35 museums so maybe it's running out of museums to include. Let's check our word count. We're not quite maxed yet. Yeah so now it's just pulling from all over so I'm actually probably going to stop it because it's getting off track. Still, I think that was really cool. And I think asking anything to do 35 best museums in a row um, is asking a lot, especially when I didn't provide the names of the museum. Like, to be honest, Jasper couldn't do this unless I had provided a number of those names. I think he would have pulled probably five of these and then just made stuff up beyond that. And a lot of the information I think would be made up. So this was really cool. I think we did find a limit to its knowledge, which I think is always good to find. That like, um, especially because it was pulling from the top 10. And when I looked at the top 10, even though Google lists a bunch of them, and like, let's be real, some of them aren't properly museums. Um, everyone else kind of had like 10 to 15 or 20. So we have 20 and we have 33. So it looks like maybe it didn't check these two. Um, but it also looks like it was specifically trying to just pull the ones with museum in their name. Um, in Canada, we have like heritage sites that we kind of count as museums, I guess, like in terms of the 33 and 20, because there's definitely not like 33 named museums in Ottawa. Um, yeah, but I think that was really cool. And then you just hit 
download or copy. Copy, you can paste it right into WordPress. Download is what makes this like HTML version. And so as we can see, no links, no images this time. And I think that's fine. Um, I still think this was a really cool and valuable tool to be using. So let's go try Koala Chat. Da, da, da. I always like to try the real time data and see what happens. Um, so let's use the same keyword. Um, list 35 museums in Ottawa, Canada. And let's just try to get it to write a list. We're not gonna look for like a full blog post here. Yeah, it's making up museums to some extent. <laughs> yeah, a lot of those are not museums that we have. I think it's interesting. I think it's trying. Um, what's something else we can ask it to do? Okay, so I asked him to write an engaging introduction for a post on the best ways to load a large dog into a car. My dog just came up and sat on my arm, so it made me think of him. Uh, my dog is 70 pounds, he is heavy. Um, and then I included make it authoritative and trustworthy, thinking of the EEAT guidelines with Google. So as a proud owner of a 70 pound dog, I know firsthand how challenging it can be to load a large pup into a car. Whether you're heading to a vet, taking a road trip, or simply running errands, duh, 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 but fear not. I think that's a decent one, um, a decent intro. I do find that like a lot of people rely on AI writers for intros and they're just not great about actually providing anything helpful in an intro. Like I always use like the Costco free sample rule of like in an intro, give a little bit away to like tell people it's worth their time. So here it gives no tips of actually how to load the car or the dog into the car. Um, it, yeah, I think it's good for EEAT to some extent, but I think it doesn't help the user understand that, like, here's one of the ways that I could teach you how to do this. Um, so I think it's a decent output for sure. I think ChatGPT would do the same. So yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty cool tool. Um, the pricing is $9 a month to start with. Um, that does include GPT-4. It has like that real-time search integration. I don't know how much I believe it's super working on this model. I think it would work better once you've paid for it and then it's pulling from GPT-4 because GPT-4 does pull from like real-time data a lot better than GPT-3 and 3.5. Um, I think the live Amazon data, I think that's really a big selling point for people doing affiliates. Um, this is something I've not seen on any other tool before. And every tool has their USP. I think this is a big USP for this tool. And if you're, if you didn't study in the UK like me, a USP is a unique selling point because when I first got there, I didn't know what that was. So with the $9 plan, you get 15,000 words per month. Um, I know a lot of people struggle to hit their like number of words with Jasper per month because the lowest plan is 50,000 words. Um, and that can be a lot, to be honest, like I totally get it. So this could be a more cost effective option that is a bit easier. Um, and then you still get some Koala chat messages. So I think that is 1000 messages to Koala, like kind of commands given to it. Um, to be honest, I still think for most chat functions, I would just go to chat GPT, even if you're on the free plan and don't get GPT-4, but I, I, I'm not a massive fan of the Koala chat thing or like of chat bots uh, for blog posts. For other stuff, I think they're great, but for blog posts, take it or leave it. Um, the Google Sheets integration is interesting. I don't fully understand it. When I went to their section about it, they don't really detail it super well. Um, 
So looking forward to seeing people maybe creating some demos on what that is because like they don't have demos inside of their um, help page for it. So I'm always that's why I made this one partially is to help people understand it. Um, again, API access kind of relates to the Google Sheets, but also being able to use it elsewhere. Um, yeah, they do have other plans uh, over here. Da, da, da. And then uh, they talk about like the credits don't roll over. You can cancel your plan whenever. The free trial is 5,000 words or 25 chat messages. It does not re-up. Like this is like you get 5,000 words and then they're gone. So don't mess around too much when you're doing your trial with it. Like do you try to give it an actual thing you might use? Um, yeah. And then when I, so this is where I was like looking at like I know you own the output. But for this image, for this one, uh, for this one, that first image is not being pulled from Amazon. So I don't know where it came from. Um, interestingly, when it was inside of Koala, it was a Great Dane. And then I downloaded it as an HTML, opened it, and it's this like partial golden retriever. So I don't know where this image is from. Um, I don't use images if I'm not 100% sure that it's okay that I use them. So yeah, seems interesting. Um, here's some information on the API. I do think they need a bit more information on these things, but they're pretty new. And I mean, I can forgive a bit of information for it being so cheap. So yeah, I think it's an interesting, um, cool system. Oh, here's that Google Sheets integration information. Maybe it's just because I don't use it. Maybe this makes sense to other people more so, but it seems like you're just running the command inside of the Google Sheets. And I don't know why that is such a big deal. Um, like I guess for maybe for programmatic SEO, but I don't do that. So yeah, just not sure. Um, yeah, so it seems interesting. I think the Discord community is probably where they're relying on people doing the tutorials for right now. So I do plan to join that and learn some more. Um, but yeah, this is one that I'm definitely adding to my rota of AI that I continue to use and that I think is really interesting.